Hey everybody, it's Sammy the Thrifty Brewer coming at you and happy Homebrew Wednesday for Wednesday, November the 20th, 2013. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, what's been happening in the brewery? Lots actually, well not a huge amount, but a, a little bit here and there. Um, I bottled the uh, Christmas ale on sa Sunday, Saturday, Saturday morning. And I can tell you right now it was very hard not to have a beer when I did it. But it's bottled and everything's put away and getting all happy, happy for a wee nap before the holiday season. And hopefully I'll have plenty left over for next year. Because I'm thinking this brew is going to get better with age. And those of you who follow me on Facebook, um, <coughs> you will see I put up a couple pictures. I was actually able to use all of my 750 ml clip top bottles, which made me very happy. So I was quite pleased. And I also had some left over for bottles and whatnot. Anyways, I know last week I touched on going to www.avery.com for label design and whatnot. That's the label I made. So that's the Naughty Santa, with our Naughty Santa taking a wee bit of a wee on the Christmas tree while Junior points and cries, which made me kind of giggle a little bit, hence the name. So that uh, came in at 7.5%, and the base on that was a... Black Rock Nut Brown Ale Kit, which I've touched on in a couple of my other, a couple of previous videos um, on that. Um, so that's bottled away. So those of you who are going to be seeing me at Christmas, expect to see a couple of those in your stocking, so to speak. Um, so yeah, I also got my Nut Brown Ale here, um, which is almost basically, it looks like it's basically been fermented out. It's been in the primary for exactly 10 days now. I took a gravity reading tonight. Gravity came, final gravity came out at 1.012, which gave me a final ABV of 6%. So looking forward to that. Um, took a, obviously, with the gravity reading, take a wee bit of a sample. And it's still young, obviously, but I do get a significant nut, nutty scent, if you will, or effervescence coming off of this. So we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. It's going to be good. It's going to be really good. I'm quite pleased with that. So, Chubby Glutton of Shadow Beast Brew is asking me uh, my opinion on those kits. And honestly, I'm very impressed. I will use that again. That was awesome. So that was a Black Rock Nut Brown L kit, a kilo of light malt extract in liquid form, and 500 grams of golden brown sugar. And that was it. And I will break down the cost for you, but I think everything came to $29, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because I had the golden brown sugar from before. I'm not including that cost. I think I've sold it from my lovely wife's cupboards. I raided her drawers, so to speak. Yeah, 29 bucks for that. It's going to be good. So uh, I'll let that clean out for another couple more days. Take another gravity reading on Friday or Saturday. And rack it into secondary. Let it clear out a little bit before I keg it. Um, next to that, I've got uh, my red IPA, which I'm calling Lola's Kiss. And Lola is uh, not a relationship, is not a sister to Jezebel here, the keg raider. Lola is the dog at my local homebrew store. She is a uh, French bulldog, English bulldog cross. So she's a bulldog about this big with an attitude that big. And she's a real sweetie. Um, anyways, whenever I go get uh, my brewing supplies there, she always makes sure to give me kisses and, you know, licks the DME jars as they're filling them up for me. Anyways, um, that was a Coop, uh, Brewers Canada, was it? Sorry, Brew Canada Red Ale Kit. Kilo of LME, 500 grams of golden brown sugar with uh, one ounce of Northern Brewer, one ounce of Cascade, and two ounces of Green Bullet Hops. Um, basically brought everything to together, the DME, well, not, the D, not the dry malt extract, but the LME, the liquid malt extract, and the sugar together with 16 liters of water. Stirred that together. Did a 60 minute boil on this one. Added two ounces of Green Bullet Hops at 60 minutes. At 30 minutes, added a half ounce of Northern Brewer. And then at 20 minutes, added half ounce of Cascade. And then uh, 10 minutes remaining, added five ounces of Cask, a point five ounces of Cascade. Last five minutes, added the last uh, 0.5 ounces or half ounce of Northern Brewer. Um, suggested IBU on this, according to, according to uh, Brewmate, is gonna be 1.03, sorry, uh, 134.6 IBUs. 
So, and I did taste it. It's going to be a bit of a hop bomb. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, starting gravity was 1.056. So if it finishes out anything close to the nut brown ale, which came out at about 6%, I'll be happy with that. A um, couple more things. I'm just going to have a drink. And cheers, everybody. To happy Homebrew Wednesday. This is my, uh, I was going to call it my Green Bullet IPA. I'm changing it all together. This is my uh, Sammy's Amber Ale. Is it's not like an IPA. It's slightly bitter, but it's got a nice malt background to it. That's 4.7. It's a little cloudy, but you know what? I kind of rushed a little bit to get something into the keg. We've all done it. Don't, I'm not going to wave your fingers at me, lads and ladies. We've all done it. Keg's empty. Flash of beer in it, see how it turns out. This one turned out good, so I'm happy with that. Cheers, everyone. That's all I've got from the brewing scene. Uh, I want to uh, touch on a couple of things. This week I've been trying to catch up on all the videos and I apologize if I haven't been commenting as quickly as I can. You know, wife, two kids, skating, winter, dog, not winter yet, but ex extremely close to winter. Life just gets away from you. Um, I always have a rule here, family first, brewing second. That's the way it is. Um, but I want to touch on something that really made me feel extremely good about being a part of the whole uh, brewing community or home brewing community on YouTube, and that was Paul Wicksteed um, posted a video. Uh, Paul Wicksteed of time for of uh, time for another, I believe that's his YouTube handle. I'm not sure. Paul, please post a comment. And correct me if I'm wrong, mate. But I will put a call, uh, link to your um, uh, YouTube channel down below if Google Plus lets me do that because it's been a real pain in my neck as we have some of us as we have experienced. Either way, sorry, I digress. Um, Paul and Larmo22 and SJ Poor and some other lads got together and shared a Dogfish Head 120 minute IPA online together. And you know, Paul was saying that it started like just sitting across from his mates and sharing a beer and honestly, it really is. And it really made me feel privileged, if you will, to do what I do and to share what I do because I know that I've got people in New Zealand that watch my videos, people in Australia that watch my videos, people in England that watch my videos, in the US that watch my videos, in Italy that watch my videos, um, but I want to comment and say how fantastic, how utterly fucking fantastic it is that you can have an individual in New Zealand, an individual in the US, 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 despite time zones, get together and have a beer and have a hoot and a fucking holler about it. So cheers to you guys. That is fantastic. I love it. Way to go for bringing the homebrew community that much closer together. Cheers. You guys deserve a big pat on the back for that. Fantastic work and thank you so very much for showing it to us. So that brings me to my next thing. Um, seeing as the whole YouTube, brew tubers, home brewing thing is so global now, I'd like to take a, a moment to focus on focus on it from an individual country's perspective. I live in Canada. There's a number of brew tubers out there, YouTubers and home brewers that have video channels that I don't know about. I want to hear from you guys. I would like you guys to send me a personal message uh, via YouTube, if you can, or via YouTube, via Google+, whatever it may be, and I'd like to exchange beers. And the re I got this idea not only from Paul and his video and the guys sharing the 120-minute IPA um, thing, I got this idea from my two beautiful girls who I love more than life itself. They came home from school the other day and they said, Daddy? We're doing a cookie exchange and i said cookies who doesn't love cookies i love love cookies okay but what goes good with cookies beer beer goes good with cookies so why don't we as canadians canadian youtubers i'm sorry everybody else but we will expand this i promise this is not a beer challenge. This is not a beer review contest. This is nothing of this sort, okay? All I want to do is I want to get in contact with other people in Canada who do what we do, do what I do, 
We make beer. Love beer. Love sharing beer. Love talking about going out and buying some specific craft beer from your region. What I'm talking about is sending somebody who you've never met a bottle or two or three or four of something that you've made. Because how can I put this without sounding off? I put a lot of love into what I make. I put a lot of time into what I make. We all do. So what better way to show that love and not necessarily love and I'm not talking about warm fuzzies and, you know, hugging each other and, you know, singing kumbaya and shit like that around the campfire. What I'm talking about is sending somebody that you know or may not even know, but somebody that you respect enough to send them a beer to. And I've always been about sending, sharing it, what you do with somebody that you love, honor, and respect. doesn't have to be all three. One will work. But it's a lot easier for me to send a beer to somebody in Newfoundland or in British Columbia or in Southern Ontario or in the Yukon or the Northwest Territories. Canada's huge. I want to bring it closer together. So I want to focus on Canada at the moment and I apologize in advance for everybody globally. <clears throat> but I want to keep it simple. <clears throat> I'm not talking about doing this for Christmas or at Christmas, but send me a personal message and let's get together online and let's figure out how we can make it happen. I can send you guys beers and have it there in like two to three days. Five days. Week max, let's say. If I'm talking about going from me, which is in central Ontario, to Vancouver or way on the east coast. So send me a personal message. I'd love to send you guys some beers and I'd love to receive some beers from you. I'm not going to do reviews. I don't, I don't think it's, it's a great idea. But we all know what we do. We all know how we brew beer. We all know why we brew beer. It's about saying thanks to each other for doing what we do, essentially. That's really what I think it is. We want to do it around Christmas time? We can do it around Christmas time. We want to do it after Christmas? We can do it after Christmas. Let's figure it out. Let's make it happen. Because I've watched some guys who are in Canada, and I would love to try some of their brews. Newfound Brewing. There's another lad, Josh. I think your name is Josh, mate. I can't remember your last name, brother. I will try and remember. I swear to God, I apologize. We'll figure this shit out. We'll make it happen because it's important. And I'm not talking about, you know, just being Canadian and keeping it individually. I'm not talking about putting on a toque and putting on a plaid jacket and saying, coo, 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 coo. I didn't get that right. And I'm not talking about saying the words like a boot. And I'm not talking about, you know, putting fucking back bacon on every on a piece of fucking bun and eating it for breakfast. Although that would be good. What I am talking about is just getting together as a group of guys and girls and sharing a beer. But I want to send you guys some beer. I want you guys to send me some beer. I want us to just exchange and see how it goes. If you're game for it, send me a personal message. If you're not, don't send me a message. It's all good. I think I've rambled on long enough. Although, one final thing. The Thrifty Brewer is jumping onto the merchandising market. I'm following the lead of guys like Big CQ and Following the guys of following the lead of guys like Craig Tube and I'm working on some stuff. So hopefully things will be coming down the pipe in the next month or two. I'll keep you guys posted and ladies posted. <clears throat> and if you can support me, great. If you don't, that's cool. It's all about the fun. It's all about expanding the hobby a little bit extra. Without overfilling the basement. Although I was in the shed later this evening, earlier this evening, taking measurements. already planning on when the girls get rid of all their shit out of there and thinking if I insulated this and if I wired it up for 220 I bet I could have a great electric brewery out there something to think about anyways I rambled on long enough I really want to thank all my new subscribers all my existing subscribers lads ladies thank you so very much for watching taking the time Days are busy. Life is busy. Thank you so very much. Um, yeah. Life's too short. So at least I can do is I can share some of my experiences with you. Good and bad on that. And no, Lucille is still in the basement. The plan is to move her out this weekend. And if I do tape her, if I do tape it, be, do tape Lucille leaving, it'll be in Betamax. 
no, I don't think I'll tape it or even record it. My lovely wife wouldn't want to be on camera. As fetching as she is. Anyways, I rambled on long enough. Thank you so very much, guys. I really do appreciate you watching, taking the time. And, uh, yeah, send me a personal message about this whole beer exchange thing. Love to get it going. People in Canada only, unfortunately, for this point in time. I think it's important that we start, get the logistics worked out, and then work our way outwards. Because despite what people say, I have a hard time sending beer overseas. I just wanted to get there. I don't want to get there smashed and, you know, live use samples with makeup and whatever the fuck you want to call it. Anyways, if you're going to do something, do it with a homebrew. And by, all my, by all means, everybody, keep calm and brew on. Cheers, and thank you so very much for watching. Take care, everybody. Thanks again. Cheers.